you. Next, we have Molly Dixon on Zoom. Hi, Molly, my you name can. Is, oh. uh, Molly, I live in Kent County, and uh, my son has been on the SCD waiver for uh, over over four years, I guess. Uh, to the Honorable Christine Morris, the chair, uh, MDHHS Appropriations Subcommittee and members of the subcommittee, thank you for hearing our stories. Uh, I was one of the parents who spoke at this hearing last year. I have a son um, who is 12 years old with extreme emotional impairment and mental health disabilities um, like fetal alcohol syndrome, reactive attack, attachment disorder, autism spectrum disorder, borderline intellect, and um, pediatric bipolar. He has been in continual home-based and occasionally community services for the past eight years. But as he's gotten older, his behaviors have become more extreme to include homicidal and suicidal behavior, sexual assault, elopement, property destruction, and domestic violence. Three years ago, we spent a year cycling him through the ER system and we were routinely denied beds at psychiatric hospitals due to lack of availability or due to him not meeting the criteria on that particular day. He eventually got on probation because we needed to start calling the police due to the severity of his behaviors and the inability of uh, CMH services to come, be able to come to the house and then quickly um, to deal with the crisis. Um, during that time, during the last few years, he spent a couple of short times at Pine Rest. He was also at Harbor Oaks and Hawthorne, both which were very uh, short stays. After repeatedly pro uh, violating his probation, he was placed in the detention center in January of 2022. The goal has been and still is to find a residential placement for him. He remains in detention to this day because there have been no placements found that will accept him or that our CMH or the judicial system will send him to. We go to court in two weeks where he will be declared incompetent and will need to be released from the detention center. We have been counseled from his lawyer, probation officers, and some members of our CMH to give up our parental rights because that will open up placement options for him. We have been told that if we do not bring him home, we will be charged with neglect. Our judge is discussing, discussing the option of removing him from our custody and placing him as a permanent ward of the state. Both of those options are immoral, but also place my husband and I in the position of being open up to CPS, being charged with neglect, risking the custody of our other children and being put on the registry. If we choose to bring him home, he will be placed back on the SED waiver with possible uh, ABA services but we are also facing the possibility of CPS wanting to remove him due to the violence of the other children. We have exhausted every resource available to get him help and to keep, to keep our family safe. And we want him to come home, but he is not safe and we are not safe with him there. Because there are no residential placement options in the state of Michigan for children with Medicaid, we have looked out of state and have been denied everywhere. My son, who is 12 years old, but has the emotional and intellectual ability of a seven-year-old, has been criminalized for his mental health, and that is a shameful reflection on our current system. He has spent longer in jail than all of his mental health placements combined. I would ask that the committee recognize the crisis that parents face every day with our children that have severe mental health disabilities and will put into action a plan to help those with residential support, more holistic and available CMH services, better access to psychiatric services, and a stronger effort to prevent children from being placed in the juvenile justice system due to lack of facilities, staffing, funding, or served staff education. Above all, we need to believe that this is a crisis, is real, and to see actions towards meeting those needs. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you, Molly, for your testimony today.